Okay class, today we're going to continue our discussion on sedimentary rocks. However, today what I want to know is what is the difference between clastic and non-clastic sedimentary rocks? Now, what we know is that the process of formation for sedimentary rock involves the following. Weathering, erosion, de deposition, compaction, and cementation. So what exactly do these words mean? Let's take a moment to discuss. What is weathering? What is erosion? What is deposition? What is compaction? And what is cementation? Clastic sedimentary rocks. What a clastic sedimentary rock is, is basically when rocks are made up of pieces of pre-existing rocks. So it's a bunch of little rocks that come together to form a new sedimentary rock. Below are a couple examples. Non-clastic sedimentary rocks is when you have a rock that forms uh, from chemical reactions and it typically happens mostly in oceans. Remember when we discussed chemical weathering we said that it takes place usually in water because water is able to break down the chemical bonds that will change the rock. Here are a few examples of non-clastic sedimentary rocks. Fossils and rocks. Now you will only find fossils in sedimentary rocks. Think about it. An igneous rock starts from the cooling and hardening of magma or lava. So therefore, anything that is in the igneous rock has been burned. And a metamorphic rock, it comes from heat and pressure. So whatever fossil may have been in there at one time has been uh, stretched out because of the heat so it's probably more than likely going to be deformed there's not a way to exactly see the fossil so the only way you will see a fossil is in a sedimentary rock now here are a couple of famous sedimentary rocks here's a picture of the Bighorn Canyon the geologic column the Grand Canyon and Bryce Canyon Notice with all of these pictures, there were layers. And these layers are what help you to identify sedimentary rocks. Now, a couple of everyday uses of sedimentary rocks. Coal is an energy source that we use um, to create energy. Gypsum is used to make plaster and drywall. Sandstone and limestone are used in building stone. And salt an essential food item. So, I hope you now know the difference between clastic and non-clastic. Let's begin.